Hi, this is Highbridge Motorhomes Devon Branch on a glorious bank holiday Easter 2024 day. And as with many bank holidays, it's a little bit quiet because everybody's out using their vans. So I've taken this opportunity to come out and do some quick videos on some of our many, many, many freshly arrived bits of stock. And this one is a 2013 Trigano Tribute 669. So this is one that we've sold before, like a lot of our bits of stock and it's a six meter fixed bed full berth van conversion which is quite rare so 669 um, not a unique layout but probably the most common van with it layout offers a low fixed rear bed uh, with an optional extra drop-in double bed above now if you're not using that so if it's just two of you and take it out that gives you the benefit of a low fixed bed underneath so it's a really nice van and um, let's have a little look at it so it's a 13 plate based on the Fiat Chicato 2.3 turbo diesel manual gearbox only faults on it are a bit of flaky paint which we'll do before it goes out it's a bit there a bit on the uh, the bonnet so that'll get done before it goes and she's rear double bed bunk beds or just a rear double bed if you prefer like that four berth four seat belts 3.3 ton Fit Chicato 2.3 turbo diesel Euro 5 with a 6 speed gearbox 130 horsepower engine done just under 36,000 miles which is nice and low for its year uh, just under 6 meters body width 2.05 height is 2.68 so it's a very usable size so all in white color coded these were um, Trigano Group Porter Trail um, van conversions. I don't know if these were built by Autotrail. They moved production attributes to the Autotrail factory before they were built in Italy and I'm not sure when they changed that. I think this one was one of the Italian built ones um, like the Dragano's always were. Uh, and it's, it's a very modern van so it's got these quite sort of modern graphics. It's all white colour coded but with the silver style bit there. We've got 15 inch wheels with some smart Fiat uh, wheel trims on short arm um, manual fold electric heat electrically adjustable heated mirrors it's got everything you need this one there's nothing much to add to it really so it's got a full length Fiamma awning double glazed windows all the way around this being a van built for European use as well as British it's got powerful heating decent insulation so you'll be able to go away year round in it fridge vents for your three-way fridge freezer and then coming around to the back I suppose the only thing you could add to it would be a bike rack or a tow bar if you've got electric bikes. So if you want a bike rack, we can fit you a door-mounted bike rack there. That will take up to 35 kilos, so okay for conventional bikes. Or we can fit you a tow bar. You can go the tow bar mounted route for electric bikes. Um, we've got reversing sensors around the back. Um, opening up the back doors, you'll see the bed layout. So, very, very popular layout in Europe. Um, so benefit of it over here is obviously it offers you two double beds they are double bed bunk beds it's not for everybody but for those who might there's not many other ways of doing sort of two proper fixed double beds without a pop top in a van conversion in fact there isn't with a full toilet and shower um, but big selling point of this is this bit is removable basically so you can just remove that remove that. It's quite easy to do you can also fold it in half during the day uh, and then that gives you a low fixed bed because of course the problem with most transverse fixed beds is um, they're very high up because they fit on a big European sized gas locker uh, now this has got a smaller gas locker and the reason for that is the heating is taken care of uh, via diesel so the heating and the hot water is diesel powered so the only thing your gas bottles doing on this is running your fridge if you're not on the mains and running your cooker which won't use a lot of gas so you've got a little gas locker here you'll get a 3.9 4.5 kilo calorie in there or you can also get a refillable one um, which will refill at LPG at a petrol station good storage underneath obviously previous owners put this carpet down that's just loose and we'll leave it in you can bin it if you want it or indeed don't want it uh, but good storage underneath there's drawers under there as well Obviously you can load up top as well. Double glazed windows, opening windows all the way around. There are a couple of just sort of cosmetic like cracks on the plastic bits there that just get a bit brittle with age. So another one, just a little bit around there. There's nothing much you can do about that. Blinds and fly screens on all the windows. Fresh water fill up point, you've got underslung fresh and waste water tanks. Fepcassette toilet locker, 
for your bathroom with toilet and shower and basin. Up on the roof there's a digital TV area on a very large solar panel. Lounge window for your front dinette, lounge and main hookup. So you've got main hookup, leisure battery, LED lighting and a big solar panel. Uh, it's a little scratch in the graphics there, nothing much. Graphics slightly faded, if they are it's only very slight so you replace them but there's no need to do so really, they're fine. Cab specifications got everything you need so it comes with silver screens for darkening and stopping the condensation around the cab, say so 35,000 miles. So we've got 6 speed manual, 130 horsepower, cab air conditioning and cruise control which wasn't standard and the new from 2012 onwards Euro 5 modernised dashboard. This one's got the Techno Silver dash trim just to break it up a little bit there as well. If you want cab blinds fitting we can do but personally I think they're expensive and they rattle and they're fragile so uh, and you'll end up using silver screens anyway. So outside condition, bit of flaky paint on the bonnet so we'll paint the bonnet or wrap the bonnet whatever you prefer the look of and a bit of flaky paint there which we'll also paint. That's a Fiat thing of that, they all do it. Now, coming in, your big slide, sliding side of door, that's not easy to say. So we've got handily placed socket there, which you can use both for plugging in your kettle in your kitchen and for use when you're outside. We've got the typical European layout of a half dinette, so you get two forward facing travel seats. Uh, this area doesn't make a bed, you've got an extra main socket for today, now because it doesn't make a bed because you've got the rear beds. Your table there, there's a leaf that comes out so four people can sit around it. And you can also clip it on this outside rail here, which is handy. Really nice two-tone cabinet work, uh, big opening roof lights, so a modern LED lighting all the way around. Nice light upholstery. So you've got the solar panel charge controller there. A gargantuan TV bracket, so uh, yeah, you'd fit a... Uh, at least a 21 22 inch TV on there with a mains socket and a 12 volt TV point there. Nice cabinet work, that's your digital TV aerial and in there with your booster box. Storage over the cab, simple control panel just with gauges for your fresh and waste water tank, your engine battery, leisure battery, then on off for your water pump and your lights. All nice and easy. Both these cab seats swivel round. Kitchen wise, it's not bad for a European van, obviously you're fitting a quart into a pint pot with ease, you're not going to get the biggest kitchen in the world, but it's not badly equipped, so you've got two gas burners, decent sink, hot and cold mixer tap, flip up extra worktop there, and as a bonus, a combi oven and grill, this is something you don't see in many vans at all with this layout, so that's very rare. This is your three way fridge freezer, sort of run off mains if you're hooked up, gas if you're not hooked up and 12 volt when you're driving. The uh, fridge shelves always corrode in these. Um, it's just cosmetic, they did it almost from new. You can replace them if you want, but it's only a cosmetic issue. Then the ones you replace them will do the same. Uh, wardrobe has been shelved out by the previous owner, but these are removable if you want hanging space instead. Obviously the storage drawers underneath there, underneath the bed. And then the bathroom. So you've got full toilet and shower. Can find the light switch. Can't actually find it. Oh, there it is. So, again, nice lighting, big opening window for ventilation, shower up there. Sink is clever, it slides. You can slide the sink up and down there to uh, give you more room where you want more room to be, basically. And then two storage cupboards and a couple of hanging rails, towels, and a toilet roll holder, and a shower curtain for keeping the bits you want to keep dry dry. So, this is her. It's 13 plate van, it's not new, but it's in good order all the way around. Will be supplied with a major engine service. Can belt if it's wind 12 months and needing doing. Looks like it's got an alarm on it. We don't check or guarantee alarms, but I've just noticed some uh, ultrasonic sensors up there, which would have been for an alarm. Uh, we'll have a look into that with you anyway. You won't need an alarm on this price bracket of van for insurance, just the factory immobiliser that it has will, will be fine. So, Full MOT, full engine service, cam belt if it's due, tyres replaced if they're over five year old with proper camper tyres, and our own in-house 12 month warranty. Full valet would do the bits of paint. Give us a call, 01626 832 792. Um, if we don't answer, give us a call on the mobile, 07432 668 
check us out on highbridgecaravans.co.uk. Come and visit us at Highbridge Motorhomes, Tim Grace, Newton Abbott, Devon. That's just off the A38, which is the main road after the M5 between Exeter and Plymouth. It's just the other side of this van here. You can probably hear it and just see the odd truck going past. So literally come off straight into us. Nice and easy. We've got a branch in Somerset, so if you live nearer to there, we'll send it to there for collection. Um, so major engine service, habitation service, full valet, 12 months warranty, snaggy bits done everyone's a winner so give us a call and ask us about this wonderful Trigano Tribute 669 2013 at 37995 thank you very much goodbye